Hello, Lynn here from Early Riser Crafting. I am so excited about this paper clip that I discovered. I don't think anyone, I'm pretty sure nobody has quite discovered doing a double pocket paper clip this way. Now, the way this was done is I had ordered on Amazon these sweet little tiny glassine envelopes. You get, I think, a hundred for like five dollars and ninety-eight cents. This is what they look like in their glassine. And there was sort of a uh, waxy, slippery finish to them. But I like them because you have this element that you can see through them. And that's what makes them so lovely. So for this one, I had put a clock image, which didn't have a lot of color. It sort of looked like this one. So I just took my worn lipstick with the dauber, and I, I did a nice little color there. And then I did lightly around the edge in the center with um, a little worn lipstick and then a little vintage photo on top, very lightly. So this had a lot of color. And then this was taken from something I recently purchased from Amazon. I'm gonna take the time to show you. It's called the Art Gallery Mo Card. And they make a few different types and there are other companies making things like this for crafters and journal people who journal. So you get 366 pieces of art, various pieces of art from, you know, the masters, pretty famous. And they're vellum, so they are also see-through, which is what is so lovely about them. And the first picture that comes in the back, of course, I mean, comes in the front, of course, is, oops, she slipped out, it's the Mona Lisa, and she's printed on vellum. And there's just so many, I mean, I can't go through every artist, but I'll show you the self portrait of Van Gogh, which I was pretty excited about, and it's printed really nice. It really looks good. So, this is from that collection, and I have put this item in the description below if you did want to order 366 little vellum squares. And they're one and a half inches by two inches. So they're pretty tiny. And then I use my edger scissors, kind of make a rough edge. And I went all around and teared it a little also. I don't know if you could see that. And you can see through it. So you see the clock underneath. And this is a die cut that I had purchased, believe it or not, at Dollar Tree. And it uh, it worked pretty well and because it needed something, something to span across there. And then I have two different tags inside, index cards, of course, with these labels I purchased from Pink Monarch. And she's on Etsy and she has great labels and great uh, words and different digital downloads you can order from her. And of course, I distressed all around the two glassine envelopes with vintage photo. So that goes inside there, and that's the definition of grateful, and that's the definition of thankful, and then the journaling spot right there. And so this is very, very unique. I've not seen it. I've not seen anyone do these. I did another one, and this one I used the Dollar Tree rub-on transfers. And these stickers look like this, and you rub them on. You cut them out, whatever part you need. You see I cut out a few things already. The top of this heart 
has pearls and a bow. So I just conserve and I only cut out the part that has the bow and the pearl. So it looks like this definition of sh uh, cherish is attached to a bow and a little string of pearls. And then I did with my punch, which actually is perfect because it's a little less than two inches. So when I punch out on the index card, that's the, the shape of the punch. It just fits, you know, it really does. It's just a perfect fit. And then you can see the lines through the glass seam, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's that's what I like about it is that you can see through. So if a person actually wrote, they'd be able to see it. And then I just did two hearts to stress them with create and forever. You know, just, just thoughtful words. And then I did another one. This was very detailed in that I did them different. This one is totally surrounded with seedless preserves. Because of this color leaf, I want to pick the right color to distress around. But this one did not have any of that color, any of that purplish color. So I did the worn lipstick all around. And this butterfly was very black. So I had to take my metallic gold gel pen. And I had to sort of, you know, color in a little bit. So it wasn't like solid black. So it sort of goes with this butterfly. And then when you pull it out, it says spread your wings. And then this one says, what does this one say? Everyone has a story. Now, I haven't made this into a paper clip yet because I actually might use it for the bottom of a journal page. I haven't decided yet, so I didn't put the paper clip on yet. And then, for the final, and this is the one I'm most proud of, is this one. Now, it does have a lot of shiny surfaces so i'm getting a little glare off the light and i do apologize for that but I, again i use these little my art gallery my van gogh art gallery that i ordered <laughs> all these little vellum famous paintings so i cut around with those edger scissors and i I cut around her in a circle because she was in a circle and I like that, the, the play on the two sizes. And then I, I used a Tim Holtz word sticker set that I bought at Hobby Lobby and then I made a bow. And then I used these plastic stickers which I purchased on Amazon. I couldn't find them, but I did find some floral ones that are similar, so I did put it in the link below. And I stamped the um, glassing envelopes with a stamp that I also took time, and let me just pick it up because I dropped it on the floor. This is a very uh, tiny type, like all words, all mush together. It's a great, it's a great stamp for a background. So I did the background and vintage photo. I don't know if you can read the words because there's just so much shine coming off the light, but it really looks great in person. Trust me. <laughs> and then I, I had to distress around with a darker color. So, you know, my edges would show through nice. So for that, I had to use ground espresso. And then I just did the cards. These I didn't put a heart or anything because there's a lot going on already. And I have a metallic bow here, which by the way, I glued on with my E6000. I really, metallic bows will fall off. 
when you use like other glues, they just do not like the other glues, whether it's our glitter glue or berry glue. So I use the E6000, and you know I like these little tubes. I've talked about it before, and I have linked these below. And this is how they come, four in a pack. And uh, what I link below is you get three packs at one time. So you get 12 little uh, tubes all together. And you will, I've used them for things around the house. I mean, this stuff is great. This stuff is great. I have fixed things, metal things, light fixtures, all sorts of stuff with the C6000. So I just put a nice generous dot underneath that bow, glued it on. Now, you're supposed to wait a full 24 hours, but, you know, it, it sort of glued pretty quickly. I could touch it after about, I don't know, 10 minutes. It wasn't really moving. And that's how I did this one. So, these are my double pocket paper clips. And, you know, I don't worry about the back because... It's, it's not a hidden paper clip. All you see in the back is that. So uh, there's no reason to waste time trying to make the back pretty. Now I'm going to show you how to make one side of it and then I'm going to quickly do the other glassing envelope off camera so I can keep this video kind of short. I want to try and keep it under 20 minutes. So I'm going to take out the glassine envelope. And I've already cut them down to size, as you can see. Because the longer one, which is the way that they come, I don't really, this is not really that pretty. So I cut straight across, and then I do my own hole punch. So in showing you how this is done, I have, I cut this one real quick. Now I'm going to take my hole punch. I use my one inch, because this is important. I have to show you this. I know you're probably thinking, Lynn, we've seen you punch out things already. But we're punching out glassine. So what happens is when I go like to do my, and I go to cut it, look, it, do, it does not cut. It gets all stuck in there. That's not pretty at all. So that's why I have to explain. You have to take another piece of paper, you know, some cardstock, any any kind of piece of cardstock and you put your envelope your glassing envelope to the edge make it straight and you put this in the middle which I'm very bad at centering things which I have explained on multiple occasions and look at that right so that's why I have to show you that because it does make a difference otherwise you'd be very frustrated trying to use your punch on these glassine bags okay so I'm going to be using a new color I purchased stormy sky Hobby Lobby had all of these oxides on sale for 40% off, so I, I believe I bought six different colors, and I'm using this for the first time to stamp, so I'm pretty psyched about this. So again, I'm going to take this tiny text print stamp that I bought on Amazon, and then what I'm going to do... I'm just going to see how much of this I have to rub. So I sort of have to do it about that much to make sure I cover the entire. So I'm just going to rub it. I'm not going to go too crazy. 
Make sure I rub it good. Then I'm going to push it down and just place it on my thing. What's good about this stamp is it doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of the text is purposely crooked. So nobody would know. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way that came out, but you see how I lost a little bit in the corner? No problem. All I'm going to do, take this side. That's the beauty of it all. And now it's all finished. So I'm going to do the other one off screen, and I'll be right back. I do want to mention that because the glassine has that shiny surface finish, what I usually do, I just put a tissue just to make sure it's all dry. You see there's a little blue. Can you see there's some blue on there? But now it's dry. So now I know I could use it because I used the tissue on it. And I just want to show you a close-up of the actual, this is the actual <laughs> stamp. But it doesn't look like that because the glassine just doesn't take it so tight. It's the only way I can describe it. But it is a lovely stamp. And I've enjoyed using it. And I will use it on other projects also. Okay, that went out of focus a little. There we are. We're back, back where we belong. So I'm going to go over the photos that I think I'm going to use. I already cut this one out from my uh, Van Gogh gallery. I'm thinking about using her here. Of course, I got blues on my mind because of my denim journal. So that's another thing I got going. So what I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use her. She's a Renoir. I might use her. I don't know. I mean, I'm still thinking about it. Or maybe her here and her. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So let me go back because this is what I have to remind myself what I did. So I go back and I go, okay, that's right. It was kind of low. Put a bow here. Oh, I put the sticker in the middle. Okay, so you have to leave room for that. So I think I rather like that. And you could see, you could see the text behind her. And that's what's so cool about it. So I'm probably going to tilt it a little bit like that. And I did cut it with the edgers, the edge. But I don't know if I should. Yeah, maybe I should. All right, well, I did buy another color called Chipped Sapphire. That's the darker color. So I'm going to go around her. And if I do use her, I think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use her. I just can't make a decision. So as I explained with this one, I had done the vintage photo for that tiny text stamp. But then I went around with ground espresso because I needed, you know, that dark edge which gives it such nice definition. So I used the stormy sky for the text. I'm now going to use the chip sapphire for the edges. So I've cut out both of the vellum artworks with these scissors. So they have that torn page look. And then you have to use the double stick 
permanent tape. This is really the best way to do it. Just put your tape on the back and take a little bit of berry glue and just go around just a few of the edges. It doesn't have to be all crazy. Just very, very lightly. And then you can glue it. There you go. Okay, so now she's glued down, and I like to tilt them. You don't want them straight, and you don't want to have a space in between. So you have to make sure you overlap that a bit. Okay, that should work. So the way you do this is you take your glue, Sort of make your, your triangle there. And that should be enough. And I just want to make sure that I am nice and tilted. That gives it that nice look. So it's not straight. Okay, so you remember the sticker in the center? I've chosen this sticker from that same group that I purchased, but I cannot find it on Amazon. Maybe they're not selling it anymore. I don't know. But this one is hitting her in the face, so I have to cut that off very quickly. Now, these stickers are a little hard to separate. I like using my X-Acto knife. And I go to the edge. And I go to the edge, and I just kind of stick it in there. Okay. Otherwise, it's very hard to separate these. The X-Acto knife works really well. So I cut that little guy off. I'm going to put this, let's see, right... in here. Okay. I'm happy with that. I still have this little guy, but I don't know if I'm going to use him. I mean, I could add him here. I don't think it's necessary. I could add him here, which I might do. Okay, so everything is glued on in the front. The wording... I did a butterfly instead of a bow. And now, just as a reminder, the way we do the back is we take, and I'm going to use a silver paper clip because I'm doing cool colors, you know, blues. Now, as a quick reminder, the double stick tape and the smaller side of the paper clip Go like that, and then you just push it down, and the double stick tape does a pretty good job of holding that in place. Like so. And then as a quick reminder again, because these paper clips can be tricky, 
gonna glue that down. And then I'm going to glue the other half of this. Because I have to have something to put this on. So I'm going to glue this down with the berry glue. I hope you're enjoying my hearts. So we're going to go like this. Real quick. Because I don't want to glue directly onto the glassine. I don't know if it's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to do it like that. Somewhat straight. And then quickly Okay Turn that around Match it up and make sure that this edge is completely glued down. And that's what's really important. You want to hold this like this, nice and tight. That's important. And I can feel that's nice and tight. And now for the center, for the little tag that goes inside, I have this punch, and it's just perfect. It is a recollections punch, and it's almost two inches wide. But oh, since I'm doing index cards, I don't want that red line at the top. So this time, I'm just going to switch it out. do it this way so I only have the blue at the top and I'll finish the rest off screen so this is what the back looks like completed this is the front it works like perfectly as a paper clip I'm really excited about this whole project I did today I'm so stoked it's like the most exciting thing I think I've done because I really haven't seen anybody do a paper clip quite this way. There are pocket paper clips done by many people, but not, not the way I've done them. So I thank you for joining me. Until next time, have a great day.